John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. Got another cool broadhead to test today. Another one out of Australia. This is the Northern Evo. Okay, it's 125 grain, solid steel construction. I'm gonna zoom in and show you some of the specs about it. But man, this is, a, on, on one hand, it's just a simple two blade. On the other hand, there's nothing simple about it. It looks really cool, some cool design features. So I'll zoom in and go through some of those design features and then put it through the ringer. All the tests that I'm doing this year, the long range test, penetration test, the edge durability test through 22 gauge steel plate, and then the new one that I've just added, the edge sharpness retention test, where I test the out of the box sharpness by doing a push paper test, and it gets five points if it can cut paper like that, pushed over it uh, straight out of the box, and then it gets a point for each time I can rub a carbon shaft over the edge and then it still cuts paper. So I'm gonna do that up to a maximum of five times. So the total edge sharpness retention test is a maximum of 10 points as well. And then like with all the heads now, I'm also putting the price per single broadhead. Okay, you buy a pack of three or five, whatever, but I'm gonna do it per uh, broadhead at the end of each of the tests in the score sheet as well. So stay tuned at the end for the score sheet and see how it does. For all the tests, I'm using my Bishop Archery FOC King Arrow. I'm using fobs, I got Nocturnal Nox there, and uh, 460 grains out of my Bowtech SR6, set at 72 pounds. Let's see how this Australian Northern Evo does. Here you can see the Evo close up. What a cool looking head this is. So like I said, uh, many ways it's just a two blade head, but there are some cool unique designs about it. First of all, you see the back edges are also sharpened, which helps cut tissue if the head is lodged inside of an animal, or if it's uh, backing out from an animal, it can cut, makes it easier to pull out of a target as well. It's got these dimples also, uh, which aid in the flight. That's what they say that kind of has that golf ball effect that they carry air around when it rotates like that and uh, causes less planing. So we'll see how it flies at long distance because of that. It also has this really cool rib on both sides that gives an extra support and strength to the broadhead and keeps it from folding over. And that goes all the way up to the tip. It's CNC machined out of a single piece of steel, which is really cool, and it's Teflon coated as well. The cutting diameter of this is a full one and one quarter inches, which is pretty wide, and it's nice to find it that wide in a two blade. So I'm eager to put this thing through the test and see how well it flies and how well it holds up and uh, how well it performs overall. Out of the package. Okay. One stroke of the arrow. Second stroke of the arrow. Third stroke of the arrow. Fourth stroke of the arrow. Okay, that cut barely. Fifth stroke of the arrow. Yep, barely, but it did it. Northern Evo cut after five strokes of the arrow. Bullseye. The Northern Evo penetrated seven and one quarter inches. Now I'm going to shoot the Northern Evo into the steel plate as many consecutive times as I can, up to five, but I'll stop if the blades get significantly damaged. Here's the Northern Evo after going through the MDF and the steel plate four times. And you can see it held up pretty well. 
I mean, I've had a number of heads that haven't even made it through one time or maybe three times. This one made it through four times, but then you see the tip got a bit curled. And actually, it did curl just a little bit when I first shot it through the MDF, but that curl just got exaggerated as it went through the steel plate and the edges got pretty marred. So this is at a point that it's not resharpenable and that's why I stopped it after four shots. But still, good enough that it made it through four times. Okay, what'd you think of the Northern Evo? Man, another cool head coming out of Australia. They're doing some great things down under there. This is cool because you're getting a full one and one quarter inch cut. Uh, it penetrated well, it flew exceptionally well. Great edge retention, great durability. Overall, did very well. This is a head worth considering, especially if you're looking for a two blade because you want to maximize penetration, but you want a little bit wider cut than some of the other two blades. This is something worth checking out and considering. <laughs>